The Kite Engine is designed with region breaking technology. This means it can translate speed for electrical power and charge itself. I built the engine, but all the controls had to be familiar and intuitive. An interesting concept for something that doesn't exist yet. Y'all, this is Remel again. Check out this. This guy is developing a next generation energy machine. It started as, you know, as he says, it started trying to drive boats with a kite, but now he's built a wind generator in the process. That wind generator has multiple implications. Check this out. My name is Christian, and I'm excited to share my journey for a rare class of super fast wind powered boat and the development of an engine that can power them. My goal was not to be tied to tradition and use physics to deduce the fastest class of wind powered boat possible and try to keep my mind open onto what that might look like. I would use clues from around the world for my hunt for my true white whale, the fastest class of blue water sailboat. To counteract the lift of the sail and keep sail rocket from flying away like a kite, there is a foil directly opposite the wing, drawn in yellow, which acts like a hook in the water to pull it back down to earth. My initial lead was the current world record holder, the Vestia sail rocket, but during my research I found its ocean faring sibling, and from a pure physics standpoint, this was the most elegant design I've ever seen. The healing motion between the mass and the keel is replaced by the tension between the kite and the keel. It's an order of magnitude less mass. It's basically a dystopian action movie. Back in my home state of Washington, I began work on a proof of concept. It seemed right to start with the control pod. It would need to function like a turret above the superstructure. The sky sails control pod is designed to steer the kite, but this new variation would also need to reel the tethers, and I decided to install a secret function I'll discuss later. A lot of y'all are into technology and, you know, travel and stuff like that, so let me just drop this gem on you. I proved that the concept worked. I did a lot, but I needed help from my community. A friend noticed my work and invested a little seed money so I could get started on a prototype. The focus would be on a consumer product, a means of propulsion that people could use for their own projects. I shared my progress on 3D printing forums and Pantheon Design reached out at the perfect time, so I went for a visit. This BC startup specializes in printing parts for tech and space companies like Blue Origin, and I was really lucky to have their help. I decided to build the engine with high strength, waterproof, UV resistant ASA due to the marine environment with the aim to upgrade to carbon fiber ASA in the future. And a block away was Grin Technologies, and these guys are geniuses. The amount of thought they put into their controllers is staggering. The control pod has a lot in common with electric bikes. I was able to reconfigure their controller to work with the control pod. On top of that, Grin is one of the few companies in North America that installs their controllers with Regen, meaning the control pod could charge itself. I started out with some bench tests, but it was time to get in the field, and my friend's dad knew a rancher named Charles with the perfect sight. The Denver air was far thinner and gustier than what I was used to. So it's fully capable, but look here, the wind picks up 20 knots, and when I say it can be a propulsion device, it just has tons of power. We didn't even pull a, a full kite loop, and this is what happened. Over 400 pounds traveled straight through my machine and pulled out the anchors. The mounting strategy would be important for anyone considering a kite engine. On top of that, there was a control issue that needed to be solved. I built the engine, but all the controls had to be familiar and intuitive, an interesting concept for something that doesn't exist yet. Designed as the powerhouse for ultra performance sailboats, this is kite control on a new level. The new prototype kite engine. So this is a typical kite bar, but we're going to evolve past that. So we've got the same controls. We've got our right line, middle line, and left line. Designed with three modes of operation. A manual mode with a hand crank. Auxiliary. And electric control. Reeling outline is easy. With a capacity of 600 feet or 180 meters, adaptable to many boats, maintain tactile control from anywhere on the vessel. Then turn off the engines and enjoy the sensation of a true downwind run. Translate your sailing experience to kite flying skill. Constructed for harsh marine environments, built from waterproof UV resistant ASA, its durability is unmatched. A step beyond a spinnaker, taking sailcraft to new levels of speed 